The reason we think that intelligent design was behind the human body is that uh, there's there's literally no other way for this a system of systems of this kind to come into existence. No one's ever shown that it can be done in any other way. And we as human engineers know, we know how to build stuff like this. We know what the causal capabilities of these causal factors are. We know what they can and cannot do. And when we look at the human body, there's just no other possible explanation than if there were at least at one or more points in history, there were discrete leaps in functionality. Gradual cannot get there. Uh, if you have to be alive at every step, you can't get there gradually. You have to have some sort of discrete jump in functionality. And that goes against all of the materialist, naturalist explanations of how these things came to be. So we're, we're definitely swimming upstream with this, but we're swimming downstream with the data because the data supports this. No one can argue with the facts in the human body that we discuss in this book. Uh, these are these are just inarguable. Uh, That's pure medicine, pure engineering. So the question is, how can you make these things? And without intention, there's too many degrees of freedom. As an example, when you bring home that box with the picture of the lawnmower on the outside, how many different ways can you assemble those parts? And how many of the ways that you can assemble those parts actually result in a lawnmower? And for some of us, you know, we have to try them off before we get the lawnmower. And that's, you know, you don't get a working lawnmower if you don't do it correctly. The systems in the human body, there are the 11 major systems and all the thousands and thousands of subsystems and sub subsystems, they all show us that only when everything's in the right place, doing the right thing in the right way at the right time, with the right dynamics and the right capacities, can the human body work? Well, the only way you can overcome all of the causal hurdles to make a system of this kind or system of systems of this kind work is by intending it to work and then acting to make it happen. We see in the human body all the makings of the best possible design, the many systems that have to be in place, the fine tuning of those systems to achieve exact outcomes in exactly the right ways and exactly the right times. And there's no other way this can be accomplished but by a mind, a mind working with the physical properties of matter to make these things come about.